welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another WWE Ultimate Edition action figure review on the brand new WWE Fan Takeover Amazon Exclusive Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy figure, man. We've been waiting on this one for a while. I remember seeing the leaked images. I remember seeing the, the prototype images and seeing everything come to fruition. And I, I have like mixed feelings about this figure. How good is it going to be? We're going to find out here today, man. But I remember seeing images of this thing and being kind of bummed out about it and then loving it at the same time. Jeff Hardy is one of my favorite competitors of all time, so this should be a fun review, man. We're going to dive into it, see how good it is, and uh, see if it is as good as advertised, man. So let's go ahead and dive in. As you guys can see, front viewing window right there. Looks pretty good. You got the Ultimate Edition logo down here. Jeff Hardy spelling at the top. You will notice this box is a little bit different compared to other Ultimate Edition boxes. It has a red face instead of the white face. But if you spin to the right, guys, you got a beautiful image of Jeff Hardy here. Jeff Hardy's name down here. At the top of this little shoulder piece, they actually put the Fan Takeover logo. If you guys remember on the WWE Elite Fan Takeover figures, that's what that's from. On the top, you get another Ultimate Edition logo here. On the back, you do at the top get a Swanton Bomb image. I remember seeing that image. That's that's one of the images that Amazon leaked out to us. Got Fan Tech over here, Jeff Hardy over here, another image of Jeff Hardy here. Some bio read here. If you guys would like to read that, you can pause it now. You guys can see that the uh, the championship celebration is the one that won here from 2008. You had Armageddon 08, which would have also been sick, and then you have WrestleMania 25. I'm guessing that WrestleMania 25 got a lot more votes than Armageddon just because it's WrestleMania, but that is the match where he took on Matt Hardy, and then Armageddon 2008 is actually the event right before this where he is his uh, you know, where he actually captured the championship. This is the celebration from winning the championship. So, on the other side, you get Jeff Hardy written there, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging, man. So, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack Jeff Hardy out of his packaging. All right, guys, so here is Jeff Hardy out of his packaging. Looking pretty swell so far. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. We're going to dive into all the different things getting through it, man. But you guys know how the Ultimate Edition figure reviews work. How we're going to do is run through his accessories first and then dive into the figure itself. We do not have two figures here today, so Jeff Hardy gets all of the attention. You know, I don't know why I didn't get the Hulk Hogan. Like, I, I could have swore I got it in just as early as I got the Jeff Hardy in. I could have swore I ordered two or three of this Hardy, but only one showed up. So I, I don't know what's going on there. I... I hope that these are easier to obtain and they're not so crazy to, to try and get. Hopefully that will be the case. We'll have to see about it. But Jeff Hardy is here, man. Let's go ahead. He gets all the attention. I guess it's like his celebration, his championship celebration, because it's all about Jeff Hardy today, Brad. Let's dive into his accessories, and then we will run it back and take a closer look at Jeff Hardy himself. All right, guys, so diving into Jeff Hardy's accessories, man. Starting out, of course, this is an ultimate edition, so you guys know interchangeable heads are going to be a thing. Now, I will say it's a bit underwhelming for an ultimate edition. At least it feels like it. Like, you only get two pairs of interchangeable hands, a championship, two interchangeable heads, and then a cloth accessory, which I, I mean, I guess that does work. Maybe I'm just tripping. I, I guess it is enough for an ultimate edition. I'm just kind of, I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking, but let's dive into these accessories, man. Out of the packaging, he does come with mic holding hands. So if you guys were wondering about that, he does come with mic holding hands. No, you know, no issues right there. It's got the white, green, and black, which we'll dive into in just a moment. But for his other interchangeable hands, it is his signature pose hands, you know, before the swanton bomb. Yeah, you know, the Jeff Hardy signature pose here, again, you can see like the lime green or the volt green with the white armbands covering it with the black. You know, he likes to layer up those sleeves and stuff like that. He's got the black nail polish. He has his tattoo on his right hand right there, which looks really good. I mean, they, they look good to me. I, I don't have any problems with this. I like the black nail polish and everything. These look good, so I'm, I'm excited about those. He also does come with this necklace. This is removable. I wanted to include this just in case you guys didn't know. He does come with his necklace here. You guys can see the Jeff Hardy or Hardy Boys pinned it right here in purple with the silver chain. Pretty cool right there. When I first opened it, it was a little warped but it seems to have taken back to its shape now, which is nice to see. I'm glad that it didn't stay warped, so that's really nice. We also get a WWE Spinner Championship, which is the championship that he won at Armageddon, but you guys will notice that uh, I noticed it was kind of stiff, and I was like, dude, this must be, they had to have changed something about this championship, and I noticed that this does have the Monday Night Raw side plate here, but they put it on the other side, and it's upside down, which is not correct. That's that's not what it's supposed to look like, so uh, yeah, I, I don't like that right there. I wish that that this is supposed to have the WWE champion side plate I'm pretty sure and it's supposed to be flipped up right so they gave me a Monday Night Raw I mean I guess this is cool because now I can use this and I can pop it into another WWE championship that has the right side plates or has the dual WWE champion and make it a throwback championship by putting one of the side plates like this over here and then leaving the other one and switching it with this one if that makes sense to you guys but it doesn't spin or anything like that we've seen this multiple times in the past but I thought it was interesting that that was upside down and they gave him dual 
Monday Night Raw side plate. So there's that. He also comes with this cloth tank top shirt, which is very nice to see because you guys will notice it doesn't have any Velcro whatsoever. And it is a stretchy, pliable material. That is excellent. You know, I'd love to see this implemented into the Elite line one day. You know, no Velcro or anything like that. We did see this with the Stone Cold Steve Austin figure where, you know, they didn't have any uh, Velcro on there, which I really love. And then they came back and gave us, they gave us Velcro on the John Cena figure, which was weird to me. But I'm going to put this on the figure and we're going to see what it looks like. And here's what the shirt looks like on the figure. I don't hate it. You know, I don't, I don't mind it whatsoever. You know, once we get the necklace and the and the head on there, which we'll take a look, look, we'll take a closer look at that here in a moment. But I like the way the shirt looks on the body. It fits and contorts nicely. Like, uh, I wish it was stackable, you know, so you could like put it above the belt a little bit more there, which I guess you technically could. It just is, it gets kind of thick right there, but I, I don't know, man, not bad at all. I love that it's cloth and I love that it doesn't have Velcro. That's pretty sweet. And then getting into the in interchangeable heads, guys, you guys will notice this is the two pack Hardy, the one that we just got with Triple H, except it does have the face paint painted over there. And I love, I love the side details that are going on right here. He's got, you know, his, his famous chin strap going on with all the designs in his hair and stuff like that. It's got the red, yellow, purple, black tones going all through. Looks very realistic. I like the way it came out. So this head sculpt is clearly this head sculpt, right? Like it's the exact same except it's painted differently, which these are like seven or eight years apart as far as like the timeline goes. But Jeff Hardy remained pretty young looking for a while. I mean, he still looks pretty young. He's aged, but he, he still looks like he, he still looks pretty good for his age there. So Jeff Hardy head sculpt looking good. And then we have the interchangeable screaming head sculpt sculpt, which is very sick, which is like battle-worn, and I'm pretty sure he he fought Vladimir Kozlov, if I'm not mistaken, on this night when he had the championship celebration, but I love the yelling head sculpt. I would love to repaint one, like get one and then repaint it. That way it would look, you know, full skin tone or whatever, and then you'd have like a, you'd have a face paint face, and then you could repaint these and have like different hair colors with, you know, different expressions and stuff with the yelling head sculpt. That'd be pretty sweet, but I like the way that looks. It's got some battle damage on there and stuff like that, or some paint leaking off, but really love the, the screaming head head sculpt and I like both. They're pretty solid. I like the two-pack head sculpt so they, they both work out for me. And then the last accessory guys is his towel that does plug into his butt. If you guys did not know there's a little tab right here where you can just plug it in right there and we've known about that. that that's that been a part of Jeff Hardy figures for a little bit now so I completely forgot about that accessory. Alright guys so starting out at the top of the head sculpt here's what the figure looks like with the shirt on, the necklace on, the head sculpt on there and it looks pretty damn good. I like the way this looks you know being a Jeff Hardy fan I think this works out. We are going to take the shirt off and take a look at what it looks like without the shirt on there so you guys can see all the tattoo details and what the torso actually looks like and all those things. I don't know if this shirt is going to stain the torso either. That's something we're going to have to learn over time and stuff like that. But this is what it looks like if you guys wanted to know. There's the towel and everything like that. I like the way it looks though. You know, it's all good and stuff. And it may be better with the shirt on than the shirt off. Let's go ahead and find out. So here's what the figure looks like with the shirt off and you guys will notice this torso, man. A lot of people are talking about the torso. Do they like it or do they not? That's kind of like the make or break point of this figure. The Ultimate Edition torso torso does look like it is the Ric Flair torso. It's got the butterfly joints on there, which is really nice to see, but I feel like this torso just doesn't work for Jeff Hardy. I, I mean, I guess it, it doesn't actually look horrific. I just think there was a better option. There could have been a better option. I feel like they could have made a better decision there, but you guys will notice he does have his tattoo going down here. He has his root tattoos going down the shoulder and arm right there. Goes up onto the shoulder. On his back, he does have the Hardy Boys logo in the dead center. This is before he had like every single tattoo, I'm pretty sure. I want to say he had one of his neck tattoos at this time though. I mean, I, I guess, I'm sure they would have paid attention to that. Maybe he didn't have his neck tattoos. I guess back here you guys can see that it doesn't look like he had them. But I could have swore he, he had at least one, but I guess, I guess he didn't. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. The, the torso is probably a little bit too jacked, or at least the upper part is. I just think it makes the figure look kind of unesthetically pleasing at certain angles and times, but you know, I guess, I don't know. It's, it's not completely useless. Going down to the sleeves, guys, you guys will also notice that his sleeves don't come all the way up, and that is because on this this championship celebration, his sleeves were actually lowered. They were not as high as they usually are, as you guys can see in the background there. But the black, green, and white look really good together. It really reminds me of the Elite One Jeff Hardy that we ended up not getting a, you know, a full production of. It does have the green belt, which is sick. And then he just has his standard Jeff Hardy pants here. And then he does have his, you know, standard Jeff Hardy boots with toe pivot on there. So that's pretty nice right there. But this figure, I, I like this figure, man. I do like this figure. I'm a big Jeff Hardy guy, so you know, I, I do enjoy it and everything. But if you guys want to see some articulation here. Um, it is just a ball joint here. There's no hinge or anything. Uh, the butterfly joints are pretty solid. You guys can see he can go all the way back like this, and it can stretch all the way forward right here. Shoulders can come up pretty John Brown far, I would say. So you guys can see it does go up a little bit above 90 right here. The double jointed arms are very nice. He can do all the things he needs to do, and especially if you put this down and then turn that in, like he can grab his 
chin and everything like that, so that's really beautiful to see. Uh, these double jointed arms and butterfly joints don't feel as loose as other figures that we've gotten here recently, like uh, any other Ultimate Editions that we've recently gotten. This is the worst part about the Ultimate Editions, just the ab crunch just isn't the best, and it's not like an AEW figure where this right here is going to dip into that, so like the ab crunch is definitely limited, but it doesn't pop off on you, which is a really nice thing to see, so maybe it has that going for it over the AEW figures. The splitsies aren't the best here. He doesn't have ball joints, so that's pretty upsetting. I know they never give Jeff Hardy ball joints, but it would have been nice to see. Double jointed knees and everything like that. He has a ankle. He does have ankle pivot, and he does have a little toe hinge right there, which is really nice to see, and that pretty much breaks down your articulation of the Jeff Hardy. I like the figure. I like the way it moves around and stuff like that. The legs are a bit... You are getting some of that stiffness in the legs like you get from Jeff Hardy, but it's not as bad, I don't think. Like, it feels pretty clean, and you do get the upper thigh cut, if you guys didn't know, but yeah, there is your Jeff Hardy figure, man. Let's get into some Jeff Hardy figure comparisons. And for your Jeff Hardy figure comparisons, guys, here's the Ultimate Edition in the middle. You got the entrance grits on the right, the Elite 71, the two-pack fix-up Hardy here, and then you have the Elite 84 Chase fix-up Hardy over here. And I like the way they all look up next to each other. I think, you know, doing a head swap with the entrance grates on this figure with the with the tank top shirt on there would be a really fire fix-up because you'd have the green and everything like that. I have an extra one of these head sculpts. I could probably just make it interchangeable to put onto the Ultimate Edition whenever I wanted. But I dig it, man. I think this looks awesome. I, I like the Ultimate Edition Hardy a lot. It looks really good with the collection and stuff like that. Kind of a, like, I understand, like, I think Armageddon 2008 would have been the better pick for WrestleMania 25, but having the celebration, having the championship celebration one, I think it fits. You know, I'm not, I'm not worried about it or upset about it. Still a sick Jeff Hardy, and I can get behind that, man. But that pretty much wraps up your Jeff Hardy figure comparisons. And that's pretty much going to wrap up this figure review, man, guys. Thank you so very much for watching the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy review. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think of the Jeff Hardy down below. If you guys want to pick this up, it's not on Ringside Collectibles, at least at this juncture. You have to get it on Amazon, so no promo code or anything. But if you guys want to grab figures at WrestlingFigures.com, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But I enjoy the Hardy. I think it's worth the pickup. Mock, it looks good. In the, you know, loose, it looks good. I, I, I enjoy it. So it is a good Jeff Hardy. And I think you guys, if you're a Jeff Hardy fan, or maybe you don't have a Jeff Hardy just yet, this is a great one. So you guys will just have to uh, find out for yourselves when you get it in hand. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Do not cross the line like this Ultimate Edition Torso.